As a content creator, you generally don't want to give the ending away in the thumbnail. But this image pretty much says it all. Cyrax spent the prior approximately 40 minutes demonstrating a very primitive understanding of the military. Much like this backward salute, it was very, very dumb. Also quite repetitive, but that's just par for the course in a Raxo video. Y'all, welcome to this episode of Beyond the Comments or Behind the Comments podcast here on YouTube. And we're going to have to talk about Hearing you say that makes me think of a song by Tool called Eulogy. He had a lot to say. He had a lot of nothing to say. Because that pretty much sums you up, Chance. Today's episode is going to ruffle a lot of feathers, though. Like I always say, I don't care. No fucks given here. If your feelings get hurt, I'm not sorry. You don't have to worry about hurting my feelings, Chance. As a PDF loser who spent like seven years in high school and didn't even graduate, your opinion couldn't hurt my feelings. You are liable to piss off quite a few veterans and active duty members of the military, though. Ignorant grumblings from a sicko at a goblin about a subject they hold dear can tend to do that. So if you set out to offend the military community in general, good job, Raxo. I say how I feel. And if you don't like that, then, well, don't know what to tell you. Maybe grow thicker skin. That's all I gotta say. But, uh, for all y'all that are in the military, man, all my old school military cats, I know y'all will agree with this. The military is getting soft as fuck. And I mean, hella soft as fuck. We're talking Charmin Ultra Soft, man. Chance, how the hell could you possibly know the state of our military? You're going to talk about Gordon being in the army as if that gave you insight into effective military indoctrination. It didn't. And now, ladies, gentlemen, and whoever else is present, a quick break so you can put on galoshes. Pull them up high. The bullshit gets deep from here on in. All y'all little woke ass little bitches need to cut the fucking bullshit and stop saying like, oh, this isn't right, no, this isn't right, man, fuck you, dude. Just, just shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut the fuck up. All y'all sitting there saying that hazing is like a bad thing, man, just sit down and shut the fuck up. The military ain't supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be hard. Hazing is a part of the goddamn process, you dumb little woke bitches. When you're getting hazed, that's to build character. That's to prepare you for combat mentally and physically. When your recruiter's getting in your face and making you do this and making you do that, like, well, let's say you do something out of pocket. See what I mean? Deep. The shit is so deep here, it's hard to even tell what he's bitching about. Well, first things first. Raxo, recruiters are not instructors. The folks training the recruits are called instructors. Recruiters are the people who talk civilians into becoming recruits. They don't yell about anything, except maybe all the benefits and good things there are about the military. A recruiter will not tell you to drop and give them 20. Back to your ignorant message, there's no place in the military for sadistic hazing. Some duties require exceptional endurance and fitness, and training for them can be brutal. However, unlike an actual hazing, recruits can quit any time and get another assignment elsewhere. That's the way it is and should be. Let's say that your recruiter tells you to do something the first time, you don't do it right. You're supposed you know, there's consequences for your actions. Like if your recruiter or your or your commander tells you, hey, you didn't do this right, get down on the ground and give me 20. Just do it and shut the fuck up. So wait, there are consequences for a crooked gig line, but not for sending and requesting nude pictures from people who tell you they're 14? Very childlike logic you've got their chance. We'll go into that with my next installment of my response to your garbage opinion.